Okay, you said your friend was all upset about you had a friend come on, she got blasted online. I just think that a lot of these ideas may be, like, personally, I feel like throughout my conversation here, I, mm -hmm. I actually would consider myself to be really open-minded and, like, yeah. I love hearing other people's points of view, but I, I found the tendency of, like, every time I would say something, you'd say, you think this way. You 100% are arguing that you believe this thing, but I just, cool. I don't think that that's, that's a necessarily true. That's kind of a meta conversation, so I'm asking you specifically about the thing with your friend. Oh, when she was on this show. Right. Sure. I'm trying to get back there. Um, yeah, I just think that she was maybe cornered in the sense cornered. of being told, this is what you think, this is all who you are. I just think it's really hard to encapsulate people's full point of view. pull up the video. The first one and the second on like, one. From a segment of their experience. Is the audio blasted? You okay. Know? Is that you? Would yeah. you date a police officer? No, f the pigs. Because the um, institution they support is inherently racist and profiles uh, black and brown Americans especially, throws them into jail, which is a continuation of the slave trade, essentially. People are working in prisons for less than minimum wage, making pennies and dimes, and it's unfair. And that's what you contribute to if you're a cop. My question to you is, I, I disagree with you on... Yeah, I bet you do, what? white boy. <laughs> that's a bit racist. <laughs> Oh my god, no, you're one of those. How can you be racist against, and I'm also half white, so like, how can I be racist against you? You don't think you can be racist towards someone who's white? No, I don't, because you've never experienced racism in history. White people haven't experienced racism. One of the experiences. What's your definition of racism? Um, I'd say basically like the persecution in any type of way that leads to the downfall of just like someone's life, like. Play the second one really quick, go ahead. I think that's really easy to say. Nick, you as just started you, it once at again, 50 seconds. It's always going to affect my life. I can't take off my skin color. As a black woman, like, prejudices that exist against me don't exist against you, Brian. And that's why you can't be racist against a white person. So is I'm the sorry if you feel offended. But you are white, and me calling you white boy isn't exactly racist. It's a racist. bit. I mean, it's a, you are addressing me by my skin color. I consider Your skin it color will never lead to the, you know, what is it premature murder of yourself like i don't know like i would actually point out one thing to you me as a white man i'm the only male at this table here there are more white men killed by police officers than women of any race combined i mean then why aren't you mad why don't you hate police too because i re i realize that police are a necessary function of society without police it would be chaos we need police officers I mean, I think that's really easy to say as you, once again, I'll reiterate, a white person. And again, that's not to be what? racist. So... It's funny that all of you laughed when she called me white boy, which is a racist statement unless you disagree and you actually think that it's not racist to call a white person a white boy. How? Did it impact your life? How? How did it, what do you mean? How did it impact? No, how is calling you white racist? Are you not white? Well, hold on. There's a certain tone when you say something and her attempting to dismiss my point because of my skin color, aside from just the word she used, it occurs to me that that would be a bit racist. Is that, that I can't prejudice? weigh in. That's not racist. Well, what's she your definition? What's your definition of you. what's your definition of racism? Oh, my definition of racism is basically exactly what she just said. When your color affects how you live your life completely, <laughs> by saying you're white, that's an observation. Racism is like your subscriber that was talking about I won't date this is why I don't want to blade, date uh, black women because they're ignorant and stuff like that's racism prejudice is saying oh she's black that's prejudice so your definition is there well let me let me ask for just very quick okay as soon as this comes through let me just ask this very quick quickly is being prejudiced worse than being racist hmm no, I mean, honestly, no. <laughs> I can, we're not all going to be kumbaya, of course. And so you would agree then that while it's true, or may be true from your worldview, that you could not be racist towards Brian by calling him white boy, 
um, and you say it's a prejudice statement, you just said that morally they're equivalently abhorrent, correct? Well, then I take that back, because just by saying, stating the obvious that he is white, then yeah, that's not... Are you but if you say that? if you say that's a prejudicial statement, yeah, then 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 you say it's prejudice, and prejudice is not more immoral than being racist. Well, I just took and that back. And haven't you done an equal thing? Hang on, hang on. You haven't you done an part? equally? Hang on. Haven't you done an equally immoral thing by by uh, calling doing something which is prejudice instead of racist? No. If I start like attacking him and saying like racial stuff, which I will not do, then yes. <laughs> But I'm not doing that, and neither was she. No, but but she was. She said that she could not be racist. She said she was being prejudiced. I think it was she was being more degrading than anything. It would be like similar to someone being like calling me four eyes if I was wearing glasses, where it's like, yeah, that's my appearance, but I'm not inherently affected by it in like all of society. Wait, what? <sighs> what? Wait, are you just saying like s s calling someone four eyes is on like? being racist against white people is on par with calling someone no, four eyes? No, I was comparing it to her just degrading you is what she was Racially. Doing. I would say it is on par because white people don't face racial discrimination. People with glasses don't face glasses discrimination. Well, you're, you're no more on, hurt. There's a whole bunch of them. I would you're like no more hurt by someone calling you white than someone is. It might hurt you in the moment. You might feel like you're being degraded or you're being looked down oh, upon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was your... the knockout game? Was like, that all racist? All I can think of right was now knockout, is that that's was the so knockout Raven game episode racist? where she can't get that employment. Like, she can't get that employment. Like, I mean, I, wanna, I would like this, this question answered. What is, what is the knockout um, game? To your statement. That, so there was a, a group of young men, um, young black men who were running around. And they were knocking unconscious older white people for fun. That's, for fun. That sounds like a boomer Facebook say, urban legend. No, 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 that, it's not. I can show you video after video after video. It's called okay, the knockout pull games, up, not a pull joke. Up. We're not going to pull up. They were purposely attacking white people, like solely white people. Let's assume for a second I'm not, I'm, I'm telling you the truth because I am. Would that be racist? Can you answer that question? Were they solely attacking white people or were they attacking yes, multiple only, people? Yes, only white people, correct. Hold on, we're getting off topic here. Okay, um, bringing it back to you. I, the, the video that we're reacting to is kind of very secondary to the conversation I'm actually trying to have. So you were kind of upset that your friend went on the podcast and she said the things that she said. And that was actually very gracious to her despite what she said. Um, and she got a bit of uh, pushback, blowback from it. Uh, you, you don't take any quarrel with how she conducted herself. Um, I think you're a grown man talking to younger women, and I think um, we've been socialized in such a different way where certain things are considered funny in media or a more casual way to discuss something that's a really hard topic for her and a really hard topic for um, non-white people in general. Can you um, answer the question? Because you're kind of de you're, you're question. deflecting a little Living bit. Living under this donated $200. Sorry, Brian. Very simple. Prejudice based on race is racism. Prejudice against any race is racism. You can say it's not as bad since it's towards white people, but that doesn't mean it's not racist. But even if we were to grant to the chatter that being prejudiced is not the same thing as being racist, if there's if they're morally equivalent, then who gives a shit? It's still it's still just as Devon bad as Jackson the other. Jackson donated two hundred dollars. Racism is literally prejudice based on skin color. Words have fucking meanings. Her assuming Brian's worldview and dismissing his points based solely on his skin color is literal racism, and I'm blah. Well put, Davon Jackson. I just, I'm, I'm not really sure what response you're looking for. I think I was trying to respond in the sense of, I just didn't like that, um... I think I've always wanted to come on a podcast like this and discuss different point of views. And I think I've been really respectful this entire time. I haven't said anything derogatory to you about your opinions. Um, and I just personally didn't like that when she was sharing her opinions, she was faced with um, derogatory messages and kind of like the promotion of that, I believe. Um, and I was not necessarily blaming you or your platform, but rather just the consumption of media and how there's often a lot of derogatory content and 
hypercritical content when um, she was just expressing her experience in her own way. And I think, you know, if you've had those certain experiences, which obviously I am white and I haven't had those experiences, um, and that was the way that she handled it or interpreted it, I think that that is valid in its own regard. Yeah, I mean, but why side so with That it? was a lot of word salad, yeah. but okay. Yeah, well, like, why, why, so just Yeah, but the, hear it, me out. I'm being super respectful to you, and then your response is, oh, that was a lot of word but, salad. Well, you're kind of dancing around the question. I, I'm not. I'm well, telling I asked you. you. I asked you, do you agree that her conduct was, you, you take no quarrel with her conduct? I think I have received the same level of kind of aggressive, um, outspoken, attitude towards me already from specifically um Andrew. yeah he disagrees with you um which is totally fine I've to disagree with me super nice what do you mean <laughs> anyways oh, you, would you like to see me mean that's no, not don't fun. Be mean. no no no, no, no. Nice. i mean you're welcome I, I can take it like super i don't nice. mind i'm just saying i think i i don't know what you want me to say i feel okay, like i've given you my can perspective I ask a question yeah what if it was the other way around? What if he spoke to her the way she spoke to him? Um, I it didn't happen, so I'm. But I'm just saying, what if? It what if? Happen? Hypothetical. What's a valid question? I think there is a more historical. Well, I'm just saying in that moment, though, not. Yeah, history. yeah. Context I think matters. no. I'm saying context matters, though. So I think because there is a more historical discrepancy of white people treating black people wrongly. Um, it would hold more so value of him being derogatory towards her. Talking to him? I'm not saying whether or not it's justified. I'm saying it would be very different and incomparable. Because if he would say that, he would be canceled. But like since... I mean, she was I mean? hated on and also canceled. Because so what she did was wrong. I, I'm just what saying... What do you mean? How opinion, do you know she was canceled? Well, she, I don't know. She was experiencing a lot of hate from it. I, I, no, you totally made that up. She wasn't canceled. That's insanity. I, I mean, I don't really know what canceled or not canceled. Then I'm why did you say it? Canceled in the sense of receiving hate for it? And we're That's talking about canceled. it now. Canceled is deplatformed, thrown off, you depersoned, okay. debanked, dehumaned. That's canceled. Okay. All right, here's another well, question. Well, I mean, you say okay dismissively, but you know that this happens to conservatives a lot. They get deplatformed, they get their bank accounts frozen, they get completely thrown off of yeah. all of these platforms and while, while the left cheers. And I think that in this situation, had Brian spoken to her the same exact way that she spoke to him, that is exactly what would have happened to him. And it seems sure. like a double standard. That's what he's pointing to, and he just wants you to address it. I Like I said, this was this was over a year ago, and I hadn't experienced the full context of this and over, well, we over just pulled, a year. We just pulled up the video. Yeah, and I and I told you very objectively that that was my feelings towards it during the time. I, I didn't like that, you know, as a young girl she was received a lot of online hate was my problem with it. Okay. Well here look let me ask a couple questions. Uh, going around the table, do you think that you can be racist towards white people? I think you can not institutionally, no. But I think socially, of split, course, anyone can be racist to anyone if it's being derogatory towards a certain skin color. But I think the important aspects of racism, such as institutionalized racism, I do not believe white people experience that, no. So if people hmm. are deprioritized in uh, job selection or college applications, white women be... benefit the most from from a lot of those what about white selections. Men? I, I, don't, I don't know the statistics of it. I'm just, you asked my opinion, my answer is- Affirmative action, it's Affirmative DEI. action most benefits white people, actually. And white. D benefits the most Asian Wait, affirmative, boys. hold on. Affirmative action benefits white people the most? White women specifically, yes. There was a huge Harvard trial on it, actually. No, you're talking, hold on. Are you talking about like when it came to the, for Asian Americans? Collegiate affirmative action, is that? Well, specifically, I think with Harvard, it was the case that Asian Americans had to score way higher yeah. than white people, black people, Latina people, unfair. Native Americans. It had to do with Asian Americans. Yeah, which was unfair, but white women were benefiting the most from collegiate affirmative action, yes. You can look up the statistics How? right now. How? Just, just they were receiving the most um, admissions due to affirmative, I mean, you can just okay, Google it right fine. now. that's fine, but so can you, so you, just to be clear, your point is, wait, Nick, just, okay, you got it. Uh, so 
Can you be racist towards white people? Institutionally, no. Not institutionally. I think, you know, there couldn't if, there couldn't be a policy that would ever be racist towards white people. Is that what well, you're that's saying? That's hypothetical. I'm saying in our American institution, no. What's um and what would those institutions be? Um the fact that we weren't enslaved people, the fact that we have had countless instances of demolishing no, black uh, wealth. in fact, white people were enslaved at various points in history. Many, Actually, many most majority of them were indentured servitude, which is no, still No, that's wrong. not true. You had the Bruh. so the, so listen, do you know what the order of mark and reprisal was? This was in order to stop uh, white people from literally being kidnapped, put on ships, and then they were taken away by the Arab slave traders. Thomas Jefferson put an end to that. We don't know how many tens of thousands of white people were enslaved during that time, nor in the previous century. We have no idea. It is true in recent history, you can point to blacks being enslaved in the United States, white but there's not currently a single black person that alive today America. that I'm aware of that experienced slavery. Okay, so you asked, but my question is, um, you asked my opinion, I say no, and then you go to rebuttal. It's okay to have a different opinion from me. Well, it's, not just, asked, it's also okay for me to rebut your yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah, sure, but I, my opinion stays strong. I don't think we experienced the aftermath. So you're not change I, your I have opinion, witnessed no matter racism what is offered to you? towards everyone, uh, every different racial group in front of me except for white people in my personal experience wait but you just said that you can't be racist towards white people that's what i yeah i'm saying i have witnessed well by your definition every minority group you're, you're bending the definite the definition to preclude you from even being able to see racism against white people why you just defined it the way you defined it why against white people i'm saying in general racism i have witnessed in my life was her calling me a white boy racist i mean i not not in the sense that I I find racism to be okay. Bad. Let me ask you a question. If I were to hold wait 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 wait. If I if I were okay. All right. All right. Is race a social construction? Yes. There's, yeah. There's race no is biological. Race is just, it's just a social con construct, right? Yes. It does not exist as a physical reality, correct? Correct. Okay, so that's going to set the framing for what Brian's about to say. <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. Okay, so she called me a white boy. If I had called her, like if I dismissed her opinion or her disagreement or her thought by saying that she's a black woman, black girl, would that be racist? Yes, because of the social implication. But is it not a fact? I mean, if you, you say it as a statement and an objective truth, oh, you are a black woman, perhaps not. But if you're saying it in a derogatory sense. Was she saying so it? So how in is the... it not derogatory towards him? I, I'm, I agree it's maybe derogatory, but I think it's a variation of, um, of generational humor and coping with such topics. I don't think she said it. I think intent is everything. I the intent was the pretty intent clear. Was there, for sure. Well, I don't, I don't even understand, though. If race is just a social construction, which is exactly what you just said it was, then anybody who brings up race in a negative light for the purpose of demonstrating that it's not a social construction, how are they not uh, introducing a, some sort of prejudicial bias or racism? I don't, I don't understand the question. That didn't make any sense. Yes, it does make sense. It's a social Repeat construction, it. correct? So if nobody talked about the social construction anymore, wouldn't it go away? No, because it's a social construction doesn't mean it's not a social reality. Like it is a construction. No, uh, well, wait, wait, wait. Can you a let me social finish? reality is only a product of the mind. So if nobody no, ever talked not, about no, what is a social reality, the social reality goes away. It's not a product of the mind. That's not what a construct is. Oh no, it, a social construct definitionally no. is a product of the mind. No, it is not. Really? Can you point to a physical social construction? Money. Money is a social construction. Money? money mo it, well, no, 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 no. You're pointing to paper as the physical reality. Money is the social construction which the paper is. Money itself is just paper. Is that true or false? It is just That's the thing. Money is a physical... Money, money is a social right. construct. Does it not exist except as a product of what? So if we ignore money, it'll... Hang on. Answer the no, question. No, don't don't run the, the question. question. It only exists as a product of what? The mind, no. right? Money Display. only exists as a I, product of the mind. I just disagree with that. I disagree with it that. It doesn't. So if everybody decided tomorrow that the $20 bill inside of your wallet was worth zero, what would it be worth? 
It would be worth zero, but that's It would be worth zero because it's a product of the mind. Its value is a product of the mind. It's socially that's constructed. That's a pointless it hypothetical. It does not exist in material reality. What if we all decided reality. that houses were useless and we went back and lived in caves? Yeah, I mean, it's just a houses point. Houses are not social constructions. They're material reality. You can see them, touch them, taste them, walk into them. Those are real things. You could look at Not socially right? constructed. My point that you did not let me finish was that race is a social construction, but it does not mean it's not a social reality. And people feel and experience material reality effects of such a co social construction. So just- That's right. If, if every, they do. If everyone, I agree. Okay. But I've already agreed with this. I agree that if you have a social construction and everybody lives as those, the social construction is true, you do have to experience the effects socially of the social construction. So for instance, uh, we could socially construct that your head was, or hair was red right now. Mm -hmm. And everybody could believe it, even though it was not an objective reality, where they would still treat you like you were a redhead, right? Yes. Okay, but that would be false. You would not be a redhead, but they would still treat you as though you were. But assuming everybody dismissed this social construction of anybody having red hair, how would it exist in material reality? It would be blonde. I mean, it, it doesn't, that doesn't matter because... Oh, uh, no, That's, it matters. It doesn't matter to this question at all because... It does matter. <laughs> it well, matters big time. No, because what we're asking is if the roles were reversed, would that be as bad? Grid One Motorsports donated $200. Wow. Just. Wow. <laughs> Nothing Dollar Tree Blondie has said has been accurate at all. Please stop talking and listen to the man speaking, and you will learn something as God intended. Okay, anyways. Thank you, good one. So, we're asking, if the roles were reversed, would it be as bad? Mm -hmm. That is dealing with reality. That's dealing with the real world. We're not dealing with, like, No, it's mental... actually, it's... Well, hang on. I'll rebut this. Okay. So, it's not, though. What it's dealing with is a non-reality, because you believe that race is a social construction, right? That affects right? material reality, yes. Mm -hmm. It's not a material reality. So, it therefore, affects... if nobody ever talked about race again, how could it be a material reality? It is. A, I mean, if no one ever talked about it again, it wouldn't be. Sure, but... So then by her talking about it, by this woman talking about it and bringing race up and pointing out Brian's race, she's talking about it, right? Bringing it into material reality from your worldview. And she's pointing it out for what reason? She's not the one doing it. That's the thing. We are all... You can't divorce everyone from the context of material reality. No one is doing anything or saying anything in a vacuum. I'm not divorcing anybody from the you context of You are. You're divorcing her from the, from the context I'm, of her I'm lived reality. I'm saying to you that the, from your perspective, it is not a material reality. No, so I've, I've already stated... Up, my, pr my perspective is that it is a material reality. It is based on a social construct. Oh, so it's not a social construction then. It, no, it, it's a physical reality. I have stated the what, what I think about that multiple times and you are misinterpreting it. Race is a social construction that has mm -hmm. created the material reality that we live mm -hmm. in. That's I what, agree with all. I, I think I heard you, you just fine. You I'll steal man it back that. to make sure that I have it correct. You ready? Okay. I'll steal man it back. You just say if I got it right or not. Okay. Social, the social constructions, if you act as though they are real, can have real effects in no, material not, reality. No, not just, not just if you act as if they are real. They are real. You can't, in of the blink of an eye, make them not real. Okay, no, you I didn't can, say in, in, the blink in your of an like eye. hypothetical I, that's world. That's not what I said. One more time. Okay. Let me steal man the position. Social constructions are not real. They're products of the mind. Yes or no? They're not just products of the mind. No. They're not. Okay, so then can you point one out to me? Can I point out a social construct? Yes, in a material reality that's not a product of the mind. I, well, the way that race affects people materially, like hate crimes. No. I mean, that's a material but reality. But race itself, ra is race itself a social construction? Yes, I have stated that okay. multiple times. Okay, so then it's not anything other than a product of the mind, yes or no? No. I mean, I, I've already said no? what I've said. If you don't understand the connection that I'm making there, that's on you. I I'm don't sorry. understand. So, so let's try. Well, I'm just going to try one more time. I want to make sure I got this right. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that social constructions exist in material reality or they're only products of the mind? They exist in material reality. They exist in material reality. Okay. Can you point to one that exists in actual material reality then? Race. Okay, so then race is not a social construction then. <laughs> you you just Why don't you get this? I feel like we're wasting time because you just don't understand. No, 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 what it's I'm not. Saying. We're not. You don't understand, right? 
Just if sure, something's we don't a product of the mind, if, if it's only a product of the mind, and you say race is a social construction, therefore it's a product of the mind, then that means it can't exist in material reality. It doesn't exist absent that's, the mind. That's just not true, though. Products, it's not true. Products of the mind can have an effect mm -hmm. on material reality. They, I they, didn't they, say they, products of the mind can't affect material reality. You mean I exist. said they don't like, actually like exist, exist in material reality. I, sure. Race is not tangible. No. Yeah, so it doesn't exist except in the mind, right? No, that's no. Something can be tangible and exist. Or intangible and exist. Music Where, exists. So Music is not tangible, but no one's denying that it exists. Music's not a social construction. There's sound. There's well, things no, we can I'm measure. Saying, I'm it's saying, not just a product of the mind. What are I'm you talking about? I'm saying that about? music is an example of something that is intangible and yet still exists in our reality. It's not intangible. What makes it intangible? It, you can't... It's not physical. You can't... I mean, there are... It is physical. What are you talking well, about? Well, it's a vibration, but in the colloquial sense well, of the so word intangible... Well, so there is a physical sense that we can measure in material reality. Is okay, that I'll give the you, same I'll thing with race? I'll give you that. Music was a bad Hang example. On. Is that the same thing with race? I would have to think about that. No, I would... My You'd immediate, have to think about that. My immediate course. response... Is, well, yeah, this is a complicated question, I think. It's not a complicated question. It is. It this is a really complicated a discussion. Reality or it does not, and it's a social construction. It can't be both. That's... I disagree. Oh, she disagree. What is the definition of a social construct? Something that is socially agreed upon and constructed via reality. I mean, think like the census. Okay, so is it, is it social construction itself? then no the reality no so then is race a social construction yes i i did not hear the first part of your question okay then then it doesn't exist in material reality so i don't know why you keep disagreeing with me here i just i mean because you don't understand what i'm saying go ahead tell it to me again i don't want to just keep repeating myself and having all right you i'm gonna move on yeah all thank right. you. I'm gonna move on let me read a couple chats but we do have to go around the table on one of these questions once she's back so mm -hmm. hang tight guys uh, really quick, man clown, the panel is a treasure. These wayward and un unconstant women are a testament to the bounty of Western civilization. Do they see modern female mating practices as predatory of male productivity? This is a question you actually want me to pose to the panel. Um, do you see modern female mating practices as predatory of male productivity? Anybody quick answers yes. kindly. Do you mean like going for men of a certain like social status or like material <clears throat> like going after men for money basically is that pre I think predatory you, like this question makes me feel like they are referring to corn. start getting those pulled up nick so i would say yes i think corn is unhealthy um i think a lot of people don't take it in moderation and it can ruin lives how does that impact your worldview being active on OnlyFans as a creator i don't do like regular corn on there i do asmr and i based stuff um and you know if people are not going to take things in moderation i'm not there to tell people what to do um i don't think we should be telling anyone what to do i do think there should be more resources and help out there for people who need it hmm. all right going around the table um just to finish up this answer i please let's not linger on it too long so the question was can you be racist against white people? If you want to restate your answer quick and then we'll move on. I'm done talking about it. I think it's subjective on where you are in the world. I think you can be racist to any race. Yes, in different ways. No. Can't be racist against white people? No. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Real, just really quick on your answer. You say no. Uh, is that worldwide? Or are no. we t speaking in the U.S.? I think that's in the institutional context of the U.S. I Can I ask you a question? Yeah. If Barack Obama, during his presidency, refused to hire a white janitor who was in poverty because he was white, would that be racist? If he did that, then yeah. Like, if hypothetically, if we started enacting policies in the United States that were subjugating white people, that we... Yeah, the most then, powerful person in the world. Then yes, you could be racist against white people. I think it has to do with the institutional context yeah so you can be racist against white people in a hypothetical in the real world no in the real world what do you mean where in a hypothetical in the Barack hypothet Obama was in fact president did he what like what, what discriminatory policies that subjugated white people in a, in a meaningful way did he enact that are still in effect today and that well, white I'm, people are feeling the effects of today I'm giving you a hypothetical 
Exactly, and I'm saying in the hypothetical, sure, you can be racist against white people. But you're saying in, in, the, in a hypothetical, but the hypothetical, it could never manifest itself. Like it, it, I don't know Racism that. could never manifest itself. Like I could give you an example, but in actuality, in reality, racism towards white people would never manifest itself. Is that what you're saying? It's doubt. I would have to see it to believe it. You think I, it's very doubtful that racism very, towards white people can the, manifest itself? In the United States, yeah. I mean, in the, the world, the world could go on infinitely, maybe at some point, but... Okay, here's another, per, perhaps a more realistic hypothetical. A black business owner refuses to hire a white person mm -hmm. because they're white. I think that would, yeah, that would be racial prejudice. I don't think institutionally, it's not affecting all white people. Because in my... What if my, it's a major institution? I think it would still that this have this person, this business. I think it would still have to be more than just like an anecdotal singular incident because in the way I think of racism, just my definition of it is it's something that's more broad based. It's not an individual thing. You can, like you can be racially prejudiced against a single person and you can use the broader concept of racism to discriminate against an individual, but racism as a concept for me is like that's a widespread institutional thing. Nick, so, and is being is being prejudiced more or less immoral than being racist? Um, I don't think moral really factors into it for me. I think that it. Oh, they're has, equal. Sorry. So they're equal and bad. No. no, racism I think has much greater implication, greater in a negative way implications. So what makes it worse than being prejudiced? The the long term implications of it. Why would the long-term implications of racism be worse than the long-term implications of prejudice? Because they're systemic. They're they they're deeper. So they are prejudices. Prejudices can be systemic as well. And not all. in the definition I'm working off of now. No, no. Even in the definition you're working off of, are you saying the definition that you're working off of prejudice cannot be systemic? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, okay, great. So then, uh, you would say then that if a white men oppressed white women. Would that be racism or prejudice? That would be misogyny, or do I you believe. Think, did you mean sexism, <laughs> and, Andrew? And would that be prejudice? It would be, I think it would be, yeah, that would include prejudice. Yeah, yeah. It, could that be systemic? Well, the systemic aspect could is, that the, is the misogyny. The prejudice, no. Systemic? The prejudice, no. Oh, so, so, why, so I just want to make sure I get this right, so I don't straw me in your position. If white men systematically uh, were prejudiced, towards white women that would not be systemic that would be misogyny and i think yes misogyny is also systemic okay but prejudice is not systemic no my definition of prejudice would be more of an individual thing so you could be, as as a result of systemic misogyny someone could be prejudiced against an individual woman because they've grown up in the context of systemic misogyny they are going to be okay. prejudiced against individual women. got it got it so let's assume for a second then we will work off of this insane definition i'll just grant it to you for the sake of doing it thanks it turns out that you live in a society where they only uh, harp on people who have blue eyes. That's it. It doesn't matter if they're men or women. It just so happens that far more women than men have blue eyes. In fact, almost all of the women do. And so, the men with brown eyes oppress them, not because they're women, but because they have blue eyes. Are they being prejudiced towards those women? That would be a prejudice, yes, but I think yes, that would that be... Yes, that would be a prejudice. Now, let's assume that they built institutions in order to stop these blue-eyed women from doing things that they wanted to do. Would that be systemic prejudice? I mean, that would be two different things. The prejudice is a result. The prejudice is a result of the systemic discrimination. The, the blue or eye... what? Blue eye is... Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's just prejudice, right? Yeah, but the prejudice is on an individual level. Yeah, but no, it's towards all people with blue eyes. Men and women. Yeah, but I mean, that's that. Do you see what it's I'm saying? It's just that when, most of them are women. So could they systemically be prejudiced towards all of the people who have blue eyes? I, I just don't think that the word prejudice applies. You just applies. don't think, no. No, no I, I no. think okay. that would be. They could be systemically misogynist. They can be mis uh, systemically any ism that you want to give, but they can't be systemically prejudiced, right? I mean, I think that if you want to, like, go in that direction, yeah, I mean, systemic discrimination includes prejudice. I'm just uh -huh. saying I don't think the prejudice yeah. so itself... so then prejudice can be systemic, right? I just don't think that that is the definition of prejudice. What I is just, the definition of prejudice? I would say holding, holding a belief 
about someone. It's more in the terms of like what you believe. Like, so if a lot of people hold a belief like a about a lot of other people, and it has nothing to do with their race or their sex or anything else, would you call that a prejudice? The prejudice is in the individual, though. It's not in. It's like each Why individual it be has societal. I don't understand. Why couldn't it be societal? It's not that it can't. I'm just saying that the. Well, the, then if it can. No, I'm saying. Then that I don't understand how it's individual. <laughs> I don't get it. it. Because it, it exists within the individual. The individuals hold these biases. So does racism. Racism would exist within the individual. Well, yeah. I mean, I. I think so then I don't understand how this is not systemic both ways. Because I think that that is the key difference between them is racism. My definition of racism is how that prejudice manifests on a systemic level. Prejudice is the word for the individual interaction, the individual discrimination against someone because of the biases you hold. They're interconnected. They're related. Why could that not be systemic, though? I don't. I still. You still haven't made an argument for why that couldn't be I, systemic. I, I mean, you that can go no back and forth forever. I've already explained how I feel. Hold on. I do have to read a couple chats here just because they're about to fall off. One sec, guys.